In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a store which you can use to sell things like, for example, ranks and crate keys for your Minecraft server. So somewhere along your Minecraft server journey, you might start to notice that hosting a Minecraft server can be quite expensive. So eventually, when you get a lot of players on your server, it might be a very good idea to start monetizing it. Now you can do this by, for example, selling ranks. So today, I will be showing you how to use a service called Crafting Store to sell things like, for for example, ranks and crate keys and monetize your Minecraft server. Before we start though, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. We're getting so close to the 30k and I'm sure we can hit it. So just press that subscribe button. It would help out a lot. It actually would. I will love you forever. Now, the reason we will be using Crafting Store instead of its competitor Tabex is because from my experience, the Crafting Store offers more features for free. So just to be clear, Crafting Store and Tabex both have premium plans, but the last time I checked, Tabex starts charging money earlier down the line. If you want to use Tabex instead though, then you totally can. The tutorial will be pretty much unchanged. It might all look a little different, but most buttons and features will be the same. So the first thing we want to do is create an account here. A link to the crafting store website can of course be found in the description. Simply click on there and after that we're gonna click on create free account. Then over here you got to fill in your name, your email, your password, and then you need to confirm your password. And after doing that, you're simply gonna click on sign up. Now, after creating an account, you will get to this screen. The first thing we have to do is select the game that we want to monetize. In our case, that will be Minecraft Java Edition. But let's say you want to monetize Bedrock, or you want to monetize a Discord server, or Gary's Mod, or whatever, then that is also totally possible. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber though, we're playing Minecraft here, so we will be going for Minecraft Java. Java. And then we're gonna give it a name. So this could, for example, be the name of your Minecraft server. In my case, I'm gonna call it Kasai's Epic Mega Cool Server. <laughs> yeah. And then we're simply gonna click on create store. There it is. You can see the store name, the game, then the rank. This is not your Minecraft server rank. This just indicates that I'm the owner of this store. And then here we have the plan. The plan is bronze. Now, when we click on plans here at the top, you will be able to select different plans. Now, this is the bronze one and the bronze one is free. You will get a ton of stuff with this free subscription, actually. So you will get no advertisements, unlimited payments, unlimited packets, unlimited servers too. Also, 250 payments can be resent. You got coupon codes, all that cool stuff, a free subdomain. So there's a lot of stuff here. But not everything. The silver plan will have some other cool features. The gold plan will have even more cool features. And the platinum plan will have, uh, would yet again, other cool features. Now, if you're just getting started, I would highly recommend just going for the bronze one. Though, if your Minecraft server is getting serious and you're actually starting to earn some serious money, I would highly recommend going for one of these options. Now, also at the top of the page, we got no domain set. Click to set. Okay. So we're gonna click on there and over here we can make a choice between a free subdomain or a custom domain. Now I am pretty sure that the custom domain is something we have to pay for. So we will be going for the free subdomain. We're simply gonna click on configure and after that we're gonna type in the name of our server. I have no clue what I called the server before. So it's just gonna be Kasai's Epic store lol yeah <laughs> that's the perfect name claim domain there we go it's ours <laughs> we did it okay so after doing that we can click on view store and this will actually open a new window that will show your current store you can see it's horribly empty so we're gonna start adding some stuff when you go to your dashboard you will see all your important information now it wants me to confirm my email you should probably do that i'm gonna skip that for now but over here it will say would you like to use our wizards to get started now i would actually highly recommend using this option as it makes the whole process a lot easier so we're just gonna click on sure let's do it so now that we've created a store we need to create a server so one store can actually house multiple servers so over here we first need to give the name of our server uh i'm gonna type soracraft here which in case you didn't know is my public minecraft smp but over here we're gonna choose for minecraft plugin then we're gonna click on create server and there we go now because of that setup wizard we're immediately going to 
to the next page. So now we're setting up a category. By the way, here on the left side, you can also see where this stuff is actually located. So under web store, you got categories, which is where we're currently in. Just a minute ago, we were in the servers tab. So now that we're in the categories, we're going to create a new category. So what do they mean by that? Well, let's say you want to sell multiple ranks on your Minecraft server. Then the category you want to create is ranks then you can give it a small description so i'm just gonna type uh, over here you can buy ranks from me please buy ranks smiley face there we go beautiful <laughs> this is great this is gonna be a great store guys i'm gonna get rich then we got enabled should it be enabled yes or no if you're still working on your ranks then you might just want this whole category to not show on your website yet and eventually when everything is done you want to enable it then the view mode should it be a grid view or a list view that's just totally up to personal preference i'm gonna go for grid now the next option is does this category have a cumulative package now you might be like Sarah, i have no clue what that means well if you don't know you can simply click here but a commutative package basically means that you can get a discount if you've already bought another package earlier so you got rank a b and c this one is 10 this one is 20 and this one is 30 usd but then if you already bought rank a then you basically already covered one third of the cost for rank c so when you eventually want to buy rank c you only have to pay the remaining 20 usd got to say that's a really cool feature. Now, if you want that, you can also use this option. Should commutative category respect sales? And should commutative still show bot packages? You don't have to touch them if you don't enable this in the first place. And then, should this category have a parent category? So, should this category fall under another category? For example, in your ranks category, there will be something like skyblock ranks. And then, SMP ranks. Then you can make sure that the SMP ranks and the skyblock ranks both fall under the ranks category it's pretty straightforward i think you get it i'm just gonna click on create and there we go then we're immediately being forwarded to the packages so right now we're gonna create a package and the package is basically an item that you want to sell inside of your store so over here we're gonna fill in the name and i'm gonna call it vip then you got to give it a description uh, this is my vip rank you will get nothing extra please buy <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be a massive hit, guys. This is gonna be a great store. Then should this package be enabled? Of course. And then here, should the user be allowed to pay what they want? We're not gonna do that, though. For this rank, I will be charging $6.99. There we go. And then over here, you can also upload a package icon. So if you got a very cool VIP logo, for example, then you can upload that one here. Then when we go to the advanced tab, you got more settings, a lot more settings. So it's our global limit per user limit package requirements so should people already own another package before they can purchase this one just a lot of settings then we got commands so this is the command that the console will execute as soon as the player purchases something from the store so this is a vip rank meaning that upon purchasing this packet the player that purchased it should be set to vip rank in my minecraft server so your console needs to execute a command to set that particular player to vip so if you're using lock perms that will be something like lp user then we're gonna copy this placeholder so this is the player placeholder that you will need to use and this will be replaced with the username of the person purchasing this packet so lp user player parent set and then vip if you're using lock perms it should be something like this then over here we got the option initial so we have initial expiry renewal or charge back so initial means upon purchasing, meaning that this command will execute as soon as the player purchases this packet. Now, when should it be executed? Directly or as soon as the player is online? There might be some plugins that require the player to be online for the commands to actually work successfully. Lookworms is not one of them. So we can just use execute directly. And then we're gonna add another command. You might be wondering why. Well, let's say the person who purchased this wants a charge back. They want their money back. They don't like the rank or it was accidental so they're doing a chargeback what will happen when they do a chargeback well we no longer got the money so they no longer got the vip rank that's how it works so i'm simply gonna copy this command paste it in here and then we're gonna set them back to default <laughs> There we go. That's it. Now you can also add one for expiry or renewal. So let's say you want players to pay every single month 
for a VIP rank, then that is also something that you can do. I won't be doing that though, so we're just gonna click on create my packet, and there we go. Now, we're not done, because this store, we're making this store, it's going great, but we've still not linked this store to our Minecraft server. So how do you want to do that? Well, in your web store, we're gonna click on servers. And over here, all the way at the top, we got the option download Minecraft plugin. When we click on there, the plugin will immediately download. Then simply go to your Minecraft server folder, then to your plugins folder. And over here, we're simply gonna drag the crafting store.jar inside. Then after restarting your Minecraft server, you want to go to your server console. And over here, we want to execute a simple command to link our store to our minecraft server so the way we're gonna do that is first go back to crafting store and over here we got the option reveal token and there we go this is my token i'm gonna copy this token so just Control a Control c then we're going back to our minecraft server console and over here we're gonna type crafting store key and then we're gonna paste in that key we just copied and there we go the new api key has been set in the config and the plugin has been reloaded and that's it now our minecraft server is linked to our crafting store also by the way when we now click on view store you can see that our store is still really really boring when we go to ranks though you can see that the vip rank is now here then when we click on view more you will see some information which is all pretty epic and then we can just click on buy now we would have to fill in our own minecraft user name and after that just all your billing information and then you're done you've purchased it now when under web store you go to pages you will also be able to customize your pages so you got your home page terms of service privacy policy and the impressum now if you don't know what all of these things are then i would highly recommend doing some research about them by making a crafting store you're essentially selling a product and there are quite a few rules you actually need to follow when you want to sell a product so you will need a terms of service, privacy policy, all of that stuff. Make sure to do your research. But over here, when you click on edit, for example, on the homepage, we can simply edit our homepage here. So I can just put some beautiful text... <laughs> There we go. That is a great homepage update. My site is becoming better and better. <laughs> now, when we go to settings and then web shop, you will be able to change your shop name. Also, your currency. Now, it depends a little bit on where you are in the world. I'm in Europe. So for me, I would like to change this to Euro. Now, before ending this video, there are two more things I want to show. First of all, when you go to payments and after that to gateways, which is basically the payment methods. So if you want people to pay through, for example, PayPal, then you can set that up here and then last but not least the design so over here you will be able to change what your store actually looks like you can change the background url the logo url and the favorite icon now over here you will be able to change the color of your store so when i go for example for yeti and then do update design you can see that the design here is a little different than before so this bar here looks a little different and this thing here looks different so this is the yeti design but now i've I've just updated it to darkly and when we now reload you can see -da, it changes <laughs> only a little though now there are also templates but when we click on there, uh, you have to pay. This goes for quite a lot of features. Crafting Store is of course a company they need to earn too. So for a lot of features that, for example, make your website look cooler, you will actually need to pay. Though if you just want to make a basic, simple store and you want to sell a few ranks and maybe a crate key here and there, then this service is absolutely Perfect. So when in game I now execute the command slash buy, a crafting store menu will open. So over here it will say shop. You will also have a chest. It is just called chest because I didn't configure this correctly. But you could, for example, have it say ranks over here. And then when you click on there, you will see the different ranks that people can purchase. In this case, it only has VIP, but you can add a whole ton more here. Anyways, guys, that is gonna be everything for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. We're getting so, so, so close to the 30k. And it will be an absolute dream hitting that. So please smash that subscribe button. It only takes a second of your day. And then I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.